everyone. I have another video for you today and it's Christmas again, but there's a reason for that. So a lot of you have probably heard of Scrapbook Nerd. If you have not, check them out, please. Um, not on their design team or anything, but I am part of their Scrapbook Nerd friends group on Facebook. I will try to link that below, but I'm not really sure how to link Facebook. Facebook links, if that makes any sense. But it that's what it's called. In fact, here, I'll read it just to be exactly sure what it is. Um, Scrapbook Nerd Friends Group. And what they do, I did this once before, but I didn't show the layout beforehand. That What they do every once in a while is they will start like this group, like this layout hop kind of thing. And they will give a layout to one person, and that person will make a layout from the like get, draw inspiration from the first layout and make their own layout and then they'll take that person's layout and send it to this person who will draw inspiration from the second layout and make it their own and it passes among a bunch of different people I don't know how many people all together um I just happened to get onto this one the very I'm the very last person so I'm excited because it shouldn't be too long before I can put this video up um but it's it's a lot of fun to see how it starts and how it ends. Kind of like that game, you know, where you whisper something to somebody and you, you see what the last person thinks was said, you know, when you play with that, when you're kids and stuff like that. So it's my turn now. I got this layout. I did cover up the faces because I don't, um, I want to say it's Giselle Julian who was right before me who did this, but I'm not 100% sure um, because I thought there was a, a mis mistake or something with somebody thought they got left out. But so I'm not 100% sure. However, um, she does have a YouTube channel, I believe, if you want to check her out. Um, uh, I won't link it since I'm not sure if this was her or not or anything like that. And I'm working on the links. I'm working on different things, learning more about, you know, getting my videos, you know, like adding the little sketches to the top. I'm trying all that. I'm going to learn. It takes a little time. It's a little harder in summer, so it might be a little while, but... Um, if you have any more questions, you can let me know below. So um, I'm doing Christmas because her layout is Christmas and you don't have to draw that type of inspiration. You can do the layout on whatever you want. It's But I thought, hey, why not? I had these already to go. And so here is a close up of her layout. Again, I covered those two little white boxes are just little adhesive squares I popped on there really quick. So I'm going to show you this and I'm going to draw inspiration from this and I thought it would be fun to record it so you guys could see what I um, drew from. And if you want to check out all of the layouts and how it starts and ends, I know they usually do a couple different groups. So um, yeah, join uh, request to join their group. Again, it's Scrapbook Nerd Friends Group. Scrapbook Nerd is like a shop, I believe. Um, I, I'm sure that most of you have probably heard of it, but... Uh, so I'm going to do these two photos, and I thought it's Christmas, so why not? And I did pick this collection because he's got a lot of blue in his shirt. And this does have a lot of blues, even for a Christmas collection. It still has quite a bit of blues, so I just thought, you know, why not? So, oh, and this is Christmas Town by Doodlebug, and... 2018, so it was recent. Um, all right, let's get started on the layout. Hope you guys like this. I, I really, really enjoy doing this hop thing. It's so much fun to see what you get to take inspiration from and what other people take off of it too. So, all right, see you guys later. So I think I mentioned that I am using the Doodlebug Christmas Town collection. And the first thing I'm going to do is go through all of my papers and decide which paper I want to use. So I already know that I want to use a white cardstock um, piece in place of where she had like some pattern paper. Um, I just, I don't do well with fully completely all pattern paper layouts. I do try to do them sometimes, but I knew that I wanted to use one of these uh, pattern papers for the background because it looks like hers is layered. So I wanted to draw inspiration from that. So I ended up deciding on this pattern paper here. And I really like that it has a little bit of all different kinds of elements in it. Um, I am going to gut the inside and I actually gutted it a little bit smaller than I probably had to because I was thinking there was going to be more of an edge. So I could have gutted it more than that, but I'm not worried about it because um, I'm going to get it used up anyway. 
The only thing with this is in the end, I do kind of wish that I would have went with a little bit more bold of a paper. Um, you will see in the layout in the end how it all works out, but I'm happy with it. One thing that is throwing me off, I am going to ink some edges before I talk about that. I'm going to talk about the inking the edges. I am going to ink some of the edges with a gray wool. I don't go too far with the inking and you can't really tell that it's there too much and I'm glad because I'm going to add a lot of brown elements. So that is one thing that I actually struggle with is Doodlebug, I've noticed even this year's collection, they just released some images of it. No, it wasn't their Christmas when they released. It was a travel one. It has a lot of brown elements and I've always struggled with brown and craft and cream. I'm just, I like the white. I have nothing against the browns or anything like that. It's just to me, the brown doesn't go as well with the other bright colors of Doodlebug. I think that's what throws me off. But even um, like <clears throat> some other companies have been doing more muted colors and browns and things like that. And it's just, I prefer the bright whiteness. Um, so I'm just adding some tape or washi tape over the back of the layout there. And you can see that I put it on. I am turning the layout because if you watched my monthly celebrations for July video, you know that I mounted the entire, did the entire layout and the background was wrong. So I just wanted to make sure that this one wasn't wrong. However, this one, it, um, it could go any direction for this one. And it doesn't really matter that, uh, the images are all kinds of di different directions, if that makes sense. So I'm following the inspiration of that so far. I'm, um, like I said, she had a piece of pattern paper in the middle, but I'm having, I'm just using the white cardstock. She also had two photos that were mounted and this one started out as a five by seven and I trimmed it to four by six. And I don't really mind doing that at all because it still makes the photo a little larger than it normal, normally would have been. Um, so I did trim the five by seven down to a four by six and then this one was a four by six and I trimmed it down to three and a half by five. I wanted it to be slightly smaller, although it looked like her two photos or whoever did that one, I'm gonna just gonna say her cause it's easier. Her photos um, were the same size-ish, I don't really know. Um, I just wanted these two to be a little bit smaller just because I didn't want it to take up the entire page um, kind of. So on her layout, she had the photos kind of overlapping and I really like that. I kind of wish I would have stuck with how I have the two photos here, but when I was putting all my die cuts on the sheets, like I like to do with my die cut storage now, I came across across this Santa Claus with the arrow and I felt like if the photos would have been on the other side of the page that the arrow would have been pointing away from the pictures and I didn't really want it to be like that. Um, another thing when I was going through all my pattern papers picking out what I wanted for the background and anything else, there was the three by four card sheet and I happened to notice that one of them said I still believe in Santa Claus and I so I looked at the six by six pad sheet and I cut that one out and it's a little bit smaller. I thought the three by four size might be just a little bit too big so um, but I really thought that was a cute little piece to go with this layout. Um, so Santa Claus visiting on Christmas Eve and the kids sitting on his lap and getting a present is usually where we get pictures with Santa and it's always been that way since I've been growing up. So it's quite a big tradition. Um, so I pulled out that sticker that said Christmas Eve. Um, I'm going to play around with that one quite a bit. And then I pulled out a couple different presents. So you can see here that that arrow underneath the Santa Claus is brown. And so I'm trying to add in more brown elements. Again, that's why I'm going to struggle just a little bit with this layout. Um, Here's where I also remembered that her layout had, although she used some kind of like fabric-y type, I can't think of the word at the moment, but she did have a border on her layout and I believe it was on the right hand side. So I decided to go ahead and originally I was going to do the blue because the blue would pick up on the, with the blue on his shirt. And when I originally put these photos with that, with this collection is because I thought the blues would look really good. However, I put the blue one and it just didn't seem to really look right. And so I put the brown one there and I liked the brown, but it 
felt like it was a, like too much white than brown and I didn't I wasn't crazy about it but once I put the red over it I was I was happy with that so what I'm doing now is I'm going through the six by six paper pad and her layout has a couple of doilies on coming out from both the left and right hand side of the photos so I was looking to see if there was a small pattern paper that maybe I could cut a circle out of or um, die cut I, I wasn't really sure but um, any of these papers that I tried just didn't look right and I did plan on putting them on both sides but it just I don't know the colors were just like I said I it's harder for me with this one because of the brown so what I decided to do is I knew I wanted the photos to go in this format because that's what I'm taking from her layout and so I put the Santa Claus there with the sign with the arrow and then I moved the Santa himself up by those two presents that I had picked out and it <laughs> I actually really like that because to me it looks as though Santa is holding on to those presents so um, I continued to look through my die cut pieces there was this brown circle sticker that you can see that's currently behind the word Santa Claus and I decided to try that there since I didn't use any doily or circle element um, I thought maybe that could kind of bring the circle part to it but it wasn't it was like too plain and so what I did was I took out this sticker which I usually struggle using these stickers and I put the brown sticker over it and I liked that but it has in the center this sticker that says official cookie take taster and that was one of the things that I absolutely loved about this collection I remember when they first revealed um, you know when they do their reveals of the collections the I saw that part and I fell in love because you know we do cookies every Christmas so I thought that would be perfect for all the pictures I have of my kids snitching bites of the cookie dough and stuff so I didn't want to waste that cookie taster sticker so I just cut it out and then I glued that circle with the red scallops and the green right down where it was and kind of tucked I tucked the part where I cut out behind the photo and it kind of gets covered up not only by the photo but by that little brown sticker and also by this Santa Claus a little bit so nobody could would even be able to tell that I cut anything out from the middle of that I did pop the word Santa Claus with the arrow up with some foam tape and I'm also going to pop up this present here with some foam tape. I'm not going to do both the presents because I don't want Santa to get too lost behind the presents and I didn't want, you know, I wanted him to stand out because it is more about Santa than anything. So I'm actually going to take this photo and kind of tuck it behind his hand, almost as if that present is behind Santa and not necessarily in front of him but that he's still bringing the present if that makes any sense so I'm just looking around now and I knew I do know that I still want to use that little um, cardstock piece that says I still believe in Santa but um, I just again I was looking for some kind of brown elements to bring over to the right hand side even though it has the border sticker I just kind of wanted something and I added that brown star up by Santa Claus and I actually kind of thought that was cute I felt like it brought the brown up there somehow and um, so there's brown in pretty much all of the clusters now I added one with a heart so I'm just going to add a few more stars I'm going to add a star in each cluster um, and then I am going to take I was contemplated this for a minute but I am going to leave it there this is just a red paper clip and it's no reason I just happened to look up see my paper clips and knew they were doodlebug colors so that this red paper clip clip would match perfectly and I put it on that one photo and it just gives a little bit of added interest and that was that's all to that one so um now I am still thinking of what else I might want to add it just seems a little too white or something on the left hand side and again I'm not afraid of white space I just it just seems like there's so much open on that space um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of journaling and my journaling I really love um, I, I'm not it's actually not really journaling about the photo I'm just kind of using a phrase I'm gonna write um, you're never too old to stop believing it's when you stop believing that you grow old and that is one of my favorite things it's usually you're never too old to stop playing but this time I kind of played off of that and instead made it you're never too old to stop believing and that's what I wrote there and I love it and I stamped the date below it so here comes some still shot photos of my version of the layout I did add three enamel dots in three different cluster areas so that made a little triangle around the pictures and also 
brought that blue around a little more. Um, so I hope you guys like this layout. This was so much fun and I can't wait to do this again. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!